In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to fix the error code 0x000001f5 on GeForce Now. This can happen for many reasons, one of the big ones being if a user makes any changes to the Steam launch options. If you know that you've done this, then the only way to actually fix it is to contact NVIDIA support. I will leave a video in the top right showing you guys how to properly access NVIDIA support, so make sure you guys do watch that. If you know that this isn't the reason, then there are a few things you can do. The first thing is to reinstall GeForce Now. To properly reinstall, you must first remove GeForce Now entirely and then download it on the website. So open up the run prompt right over here by hitting Windows key and R. And then you're just gonna type in appwiz.cpl. Then what you're gonna do is scroll down until you see GeForce Now which is right over here. Click uninstall slash change and just follow the prompts here so click uninstall and then click close and then you're just gonna go and open up the GeForce Now download website. And then you're just going to click on what you have. So since I'm on Windows, I'm going to click download here. Click on the file here. And then just wait for this to install. It may take some time, but just keep waiting. And it should just automatically open up. So click agree and continue. Click next over here. Click got it and then just click login. Sign in with your account. And then just run the game that you're trying to run. Another thing you can do is to try to log out of your account and then re-log in. Or you can even just make a new account. So to log out and re-log in, it's very simple. So just click on your account right over here. Click log out. And then you'll see this, you've successfully logged out. You're gonna go into GeForce Now, click Login. And then you're just gonna log in with the account that you have. So if you wanna create a new account, all you need to do is just enter an email that you've never used over here, or just click Login with Google, and then enter in any email that you've never used with NVIDIA that you're sure that you've never used. And once you have done that, you're just going to go into settings again. Go to menu settings right over here. And then you will see log into Steam and Epic Games and all the other game providers. So make sure that you guys do log into those again. And then just run the game that you are trying to run once you have logged in. You should also disable any firewalls. Sometimes antivirus or firewall settings on your device can interfere with GeForce Now, preventing it from connecting. Verify your antivirus and firewall settings and ensure that GeForce Now is not being blocked. Depending on your antivirus app, it is very simple to add GeForce Now as an exception. So make sure you guys watch the appropriate video on how to do that. The final fix and the one that I would recommend the most is to simply make sure that you select the correct game store service you purchased the game on when you're launching that specific game. So if I go into GeForce Now and then go into games right over here, and then just click under any game like Rainbow Six Siege right over here. You can see here that there are three game store services right over here. You can see Epic Games, Steam, and then Ubisoft Connect right over here. So if I accidentally had it selected on Epic Games right over here, and I didn't own the game on Epic Games, then I would get this error code. But if I had it purchased on Steam, however, then all I would need to do is just click Steam right over here and then click play and it should work. So just make sure that you select the game store service that you purchased the game on. Because obviously if you don't have the game purchased on Epic Games then they won't be able to run it since you do need to own the game to actually play it on GeForce Now. Anyways, I hope this video helped. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.